everyone, my name is Kirsty Capes and I am the author of Careless, uh, which is my debut novel and it's out now and it's available at Waterstones. Um, Careless is about a young 15 year old girl called Bess who uh, is in foster care and she finds out that she's pregnant uh, and the story basically follows her as she decides what she wants to do about the pregnancy. So the novel deals with lots of different themes of care experience and it also um, looks at female friendship and really it's quite a hopeful story about the care experience um, and about Bess's drive to succeed. It's about aspiration and hope uh, in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. So it was really important to me to write about the care experience. There were lots and lots of books that influenced me when I was writing my book and also books that I turned to a lot because I think they've done a really good job of talking about foster care and the care experience. So I want to share some of those with you now. This is The Panopticon by Jenny Fagan. It's one of my absolute favourite books. Jenny Fagan is a Scottish author. Um, she grew up in care and her book The Panopticon is about uh, a young girl who is taken to an institution for troubled looked after children uh, which she calls the panopticon and it is basically like a prison where uh, the protagonist is taken and uh, she, the story kind of follows her as she plans her escape from this institution and also uh, the other uh, characters who are living in the panopticon their lives their stories um, it's quite a traumatic book it really doesn't shy away from the dark sides of uh, being in care. Lots of kids that are in care obviously have a lot of trauma and it doesn't hide away from that, which I think is really important. Uh, at the same time, it's such a hopeful and uplifting book and, and the main character Anais is su just such a wonderful character, so beautifully drawn. And the prose in this book is really beautiful and lyrical and literary and I absolutely love it. So the second book I'm going to talk about is Solace of the Road by Siobhan Dowd. This is a YA novel. Um, I absolutely love it. So this is a book about Holly who is taken from her residential care home uh, where she lives with lots of other children and fostered into a family for the first time. Uh, but Holly uh, doesn't get on with the family. She finds it really difficult to integrate with them and she really misses her biological mother, so she runs away. And the book is basically a, a sort of quest narrative about uh, Holly, who goes by Solace, um, making this journey to Ireland to find her mother and all of the kind of uh, memories she recovers on that journey to her mother. I think it's such an interesting idea for a book. And I think that uh, as Siobhan Dowd worked in children's services in Oxford for many, many years, you can really see her experience and her expertise shine through in this story. And I just think it's such a vivid and precise imagining of a particular care experience. So the last book I wanted to talk about was My Name Is Why by Lem Cisse. Uh, this, I'm sure lots of you have heard of this. Um, it's a memoir, it's Lem's memoir, and it is basically about Lem's life, his childhood, his upbringing in the care system. Um, and a lot of it is told through uh, the records that were kept about him uh, by his local authority children's services. And it really interrogates the idea of what what Lem remembers and what Lem feels is true to himself and his story versus the kind of reported documentation about him that paints a very different picture. Um, and I think it really shows just how difficult it is for children in care to understand their own life story and find some kind of identity and belonging through their own life story. 
Um, I think Lem is amazing. I've seen him speak a few times and he's just wonderful. He's a poet and a broadcaster as well. And I would recommend all of his work, all of his poetry and definitely My Name Is Why because it's absolutely fantastic.